We're live. Hello everyone, welcome to the first first episode of Mopa TV and this Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of Mo the Mokwa TV show. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my new channel. My name is Nonso Mokwa. This is Mokwa TV or Nonso Mokwa TV or Nonso Scorn. I don't know what the channel will be called yet, but this is something I've always, always wanted to do. Thank you to my baby for encouraging me to do it. This is my first attempt at running a YouTube channel. I hope to be very consistent. I hope to not be boring or too extra, actually extra sales. So, you know, anyway, I've been thinking about what to do for my first video on YouTube and to the point it started to stress me out. So I decided, you know what, keep it simple. Just do your story time. That way, it, you guys will get to know a little bit of me and it's also, it will make a very first, very good first video. So my story time will be trying to date in Lagos and I do not have to tell a lot of people dating in Lagos is like, it's like walking on a beach, romantic beach, but instead of sand, it's glass and you're naked and you're barefoot and everywhere you turn there's a signboard with the word hook up on it if, if that if that that visual that mental image painted well in your head like it did mine stick around let's talk about it okay i went to lagos in 2018 this was when i first came back and i was opening up a company in lagos Mars was lonely, I didn't have a girlfriend, nothing, like I was by myself and I decided to, you know, give the dating pool a little, a little try. I, I used to, one basic, one big thing about me is I always, I love going to the movies, so, and I don't like going to the movies by myself. So what did I do? I tried online dating. <laughs> Hey, like a normal middle-aged man, I'm not even old, I was 26, 28 at the time, so as a, as a young man my age, I decided to try online dating, big, big mistake, first of all, I, I okay, I downloaded them all, I downloaded Bado, I downloaded Tinder, I downloaded, ah, there was this one called Insta, Insta, some Insta chat or something like that. I honestly thought it was like a small subgroup of Instagram. Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> I was really, really wrong. It's crazy because on every app, there's a collective language. Like, you know, they, they speak a certain way. So on that Insta chat or Insta something, everyone there is an Ashi, Olo Show. Everybody there is coming to look for money. You will just say hi. Their next reply is 2,500 or, or you hear, it depends on location. If you're on the mainland, they'll tell you like 5K, 3K, 10K. If you're trying to connect with people on the island, you'll be hearing 20K, 50, 100, 200K. I only lasted on that app for one day because fam, I am not about to buy a very expensive HIV or, oh, <laughs> very expensive STI so I decided to try Bado something more localized because I wasn't living so far from Unilab and I just thought maybe I'd, I'd hang out with like a very cute uni girl I, I, I connected to, with some people some conversations were really really dry me personally if you're writing to me in shorthand like instead of spelling you are y o u a r e you're spelling you are that is the end of our conversation you're not 13 there you're an adult if you don't know how to talk like an adult i don't i 
as soon as we are we are swiping right together and you, i see that I'm, I'm i'm deleting you like call it elitist call it whatever you want it's my dating preference I actually have to connect with you on on all levels including intellectual and beg if you don't know how to spell me and you will know it up it's really that simple anyway moving forward i connected with this thing profile picture was mad the girl she was looking she was looking palatable profile picture i won't lie i was like and you know a, a hustling young man was lonely so i decided to connect talk first of all first red flag straight off the bar she asked me where i was living and if i lived alone okay maybe i maybe my jjc syndrome in lagos or whatever but i was extremely careful about who i told about where i was living i mean it was not anyway long story short i told her yeah okay i lived in an area i didn't tell her i didn't tell her about my house she was like oh okay she too she lives in that area i'm like oh, that is how dating online dating works now they connect you with people in your vicinity except if you decide to do some creative settings and she was like she wants to come over to her house okay okay in my former life that, that would have made all the sense to me you understand you, you went online to do for a date you, you know where it's going to and a younger me would have appreciated a woman that wants to just go straight to the main thing or whatever but I was beginning to get to the point in my life where I wanted to take you out. Let's go on a date. Let's go and sit somewhere nice and talk. I was planning for a date like the next day. She, the babe said no, she was going to my house that night, that evening. I said okay, um, but I can't do that. Let's meet in one uh, on Kobe place near my my house. And she was like, ah, uh, fine. I said okay. She agreed, sure. Uh, this all this conversation happened between like 1 to 3 p.m. and then I slept off. I woke up by I, we were supposed to meet by 6. I slept off, woke up by like 5 30. I saw my first missed call. I said, okay, maybe she's getting ready now. She wants to like remind me and stuff. I'm like, oh, let me get ready too. Since we are living close, we agreed to meet somewhere around like my area and before I walk from my house to the end of the street, I've gotten like seven missed calls. Ah, and I'll call the girl like, come, oh, is everything all right? Are you okay? She was like, ah, I've been waiting here now. You just left me here. I'm like, hey, can you relax? Like, <laughs> she gave me seven missed calls in three minutes. Like, my phone's on silent. Chill. Like, I'm mean, like, do you want me to go back? I say, okay, wait, hang on. I'll come and get you. I'm not far from where you are. So I went to get her. That was red flag number two. Red flag number three, she looked nothing like what she was looking on her, her profile picture. She was curvy, no doubt. The profile picture, she was wearing this nice dress, looking all cute and shit. In reality, she was dressing more of a dude than I am. I was getting stored vibes, like, this chick is probably lesbian or probably like bi. So I started thinking like, okay, is this going to be like a big jam moment? If you guys know who that is, where? <laughs> but I don't know. I did. I, I, okay, I didn't want to judge. I said, okay, let's let's go. Let's 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 go to the place now. Let's go and sit down. So we went there. I ordered my beer. This girl ordered malt that she doesn't drink. This girl ordered malt that she doesn't drink. Remember that fact because a few minutes later she became upset. Like ah, she came to see me. I left her, what, 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 that. Now she even wants to lie down. She doesn't want to sit here and, and, and cry. I said, okay. Me, I said, feeling bad now. I'm too gentleman. I said, okay, let's go to my place. My place is not far. So we walked to my house. As soon as we're entering my crib, as soon as we're entering, this guy went straight to the bed and lie down. Not more than a second. I said, yeah. I said, eh. Wait, 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 young woman. <laughs> I don't understand what is going on here. Then I remember this episode from How I Met Your Mother banging for roof. If you guys know, you know. 
I said, oh, so like, this girl probably had no place to sleep tonight and she just wanted some mugu she can just like talk to, come to his place and sleep up. Hello, excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Trying to wake up, this girl got pissed like, why, why are you disturbing me? I said, okay, first of all, are you okay? Because I know you did not drink, so what's all this act? Second, now my house, you did, you did shout for me. Stand up, leave, 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 leave. If 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 you came, in, stand up and go. Oh my, this guy is then insulting me. I knew this was going to be bullshit. I knew they did. Pa 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 pa. Your father, you don't ever communicate with me. Don't ever. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, I've already deleted your contact. You're fucking weird. In my own house, you came, you went straight to the bed to go and sleep. No conversation, no nothing. First of all. I don't even know if you're even a human being, sir, because that is that is my water syndrome. Second of all, you were not what I was expecting. Red flag on red flag on red flag, and you don't even look like a profile picture. Come on, go home. I beg you. Her soft voice now became deep. I said, bro, I beg, they go out. <laughs> she started shouting. Like, bro, exit. Oh, I thank God for big body and height too, because obviously, <laughs> I wonder how, if a smaller dude, how they would have fed, but that is it. Uh, the moral of the story, if you can't be normal to date in Lagos, and this is just one of my, one of my many story, dating stories in Lagos, like, you cannot be normal and date. You can't. I'm sorry. If you're looking for true love, leave Lagos. That would make sense. Uh, hey, make, my, make, make this thing focus on the ring. Married y'all for like three weeks now. That's why I got this person to tell this story because I had to kiss a lot of frogs to find my princess. This happened in 2018. I wonder what. What my bro's life is like at all. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for listening to this story. This was really fun to do. I hope to produce more videos on this channel. I don't even know what to call the channel. I don't know if I should call it just Mokwa TV, non so non so Mokwa, or something else. Just give me suggestions, man. Right now, it will just be my name, but give me suggestions for what I should call the channel. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. That one random dude is on YouTube now that if you catch up on. I promise I will not be boring. I promise. And I'll do my best to record more. Thank you. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye. Come closer. No. Enter my shot. No. <laughs> <laughs>